We started to leak around the drive shaft seals. We've also noticed a drifting on motorways. That is due to the inner tie rod end. That is the split just there. Have you got a big bar? That's an extra <laughs> Where did the ball joint stop it? Where did the nut on that and end? Where did the nut on? Oh my goodness. I think I've damaged it. That's it, that's it. She's there. Perfect. Now, I, I didn't <clears throat> record any of that, so you're going to have to take one out and then redo it so I can film it. Yeah, right. Do you want to f*** him in or do you want to weld him? <laughs> that thing just there. Got to take that off to put the gearbox oil in. Yes, that's right, we are working on Herman again. If you remember, we uh, tried to go to Ireland, but we had some problems with the drive shaft and a few other things. Uh, so today we're gonna replace that whole drive shaft, even though it was a split boot, brand new drive shaft, split boot, uh, we're gonna replace the whole thing. Uh, also, we started to leak around the drive shaft seals, so we're gonna replace both of those. We've also noticed a drifting on motorways seems to be getting worse as well uh, and I think that is due to the inner tie rod ends or the tr inner track rod ends but of course it's raining and we have someone else helping with us there's three of us this is Gary but the first problem is trying to find the right tool to drain the gearbox oil if there's anything left in there You've seen us removing the brakes, the hubs and the drive shafts before, so we won't be showing you again in this video. Check out this video to see how we did it though. <laughs> oh, there you go, yeah. Yeah. Lovely. This is the old, well it's a new drive shaft, but it's the old one, the one we just removed. Um, that is the split just there. Look at that tiny little hole, it's probably like seven mil long. That's what's been causing us a problem and the reason why we didn't go to Ireland. Let's show you all the grease and stuff. That hole in the uh, get in the uh, drive shaft uh, boot caused all this oil, uh, grease rather, grease all the way around. This is the alternator just here, around there, all over the boot here. I need to put this boot on, this is the steering. I need to put that back on just there as well yeah so i need to do a bit of a clean up job uh, we've been working on this for two hours and uh both drive shafts are off took us like three or four weeks last time you can just see no drive shaft we started taking off the uh the track rod ends or the track inner track rod there the other side is the same we haven't started on this uh, inner track rod just yet, but uh, we're going to be doing that pretty soon. Uh, I'll, I'll show, I'll show, man. So if you roll the camera. Roll in, Chaz. Action. Okay. So this is the inner track rod arm, knuckle arm, whatever people want to call it. So if you look at that one, it's, I can't move that, right? That's, yeah, right? Yeah. So if you look at this one. Yeah. It's a bit warm that one. Yeah, it's a bit warm, floppy. Yeah, a bit of movement there. And the other one, I believe, will be worse. Now, to take these off, a lot of people will mess about and they see that, try and undo it with this, but it'll just spin in there if it's worn. And yeah. that's to adjust the tracking anyway. Yeah, to that's adjust the yeah, arm yeah. in it, right? Yeah. And if you see that's round, so you'd have to undo that. There's no. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I was expecting to be a couple of grooves here to get a spanner. Some of them are, some of them have got a nut yeah. on them, but that is. The, it's, but so, I mean, that just screws on? Yeah, screws on and locks in place. Now, how do you undo it and lock it if it's just round like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apart from putting grips on here and then you've got to put grips on the new one to do it up and, you know, yeah. and it won't, it won't but, you. But you've got a tool. I have. <laughs> He's so pleased about this. We have this. a tool. They've never been any value with this tool. <laughs> They're not expensive. He's never used it before. Oh, I have. It's just out of the wrapper. I have used it a lot. <laughs> and all that does is that goes in there and when you turn it, it locks. Right. So when you take the old one off, should we see if it come off? Yeah. Let's take the old one off. Let's try it, give it a work. That goes on like that. And this will go on here. This has been on here a quarter of a century, remember, so I might have to get a bar. Bloody hell, you got a big bar? Nah! That's an excellent <laughs> bar. <laughs> Gary. Yeah. And take him away somewhere. <laughs> it's not gripping it. Tight. 
tell us about this new tool? Yeah, it's worked every time for me before. Can you get me something to dry this off with? There you go, sorted. Oh, oh yeah. What was happening, actually happening was the, um, because it's greasy, you couldn't grip it, it's just slipping, you see? Yeah. So, keep things clean. I've just noticed you're moving that now. Oh yeah. Look at that. I mean, that's compared, compared to the other one. You won't move the other one. <coughs> no. Try the other one, Gary, you won't move it. Come on, Gary. That's that's the else, Gary. Come on. Now try that that's one. solid. <laughs> yeah. And then to refit it, no. it's just reverse. And what I usually do is I'll put a little bit, a bit of copper grease on here. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people say, oh, put Loctite on there. <laughs> no. Right, so the new one's on. Just need to tighten it up. So still kind of them. <laughs> Good thing. Mm -hmm. It just works in reverse. Puts his plunger on. Put his plunger Does it on. have a name? Yeah, it's called an Chaz's inner. Tool. It's called an tool. inner. An inner. <laughs> Chaz's inner extraction tool. <laughs> Madam. <laughs> Damn. That's it. That's, that's so that and the grief that size. Yeah. Wow. Woohoo! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Next major thing are those seals. We then worked on removing the right side in a track rod. There we go. Yep. That's it. She's off. That's clean now, that's ready to come off. Look at that, look, really? Yeah, it's got loads of splay in it, Jesus. However, it wouldn't budge. <coughs> yeah, that ain't coming up in there, in there. Right, we are on our first major problem. Uh, this inner tire rod then will not come off. Even with Chaz's fancy tool. No. We tried many things, including hammering and heating, but it just wouldn't come off. So while they're working on the uh, getting that inner track rod off, uh, I'm gonna see if I can replace the drive shaft seals. Go. Well, there's the old one I've just taken out. This is the left hand side, and uh, these are the two new ones. There are different sizes, and as you can see, the left one is that side, that one there. Right, just need to take this and tap it in. Now, I don't have a lot of room in there, it's a lot harder to put them in than it is to actually take them out, I feel. Get any leverage on it. I mean, it's going in, but I'm hardly tapping it. I think I've damaged it. There you go. Here it comes. There you go, the inside of a gearbox. Got a bit of grease around the edge there, so hopefully with the intention of uh, making it easier to go in. Get on with it. <laughs> yeah, you just got to be gentle with that. Wow, is it hot? It might be. Is that? You ain't welded that no, on. No, 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 no. Take that off. It's not on there. It's actually fine. So you've welded up. This welded, end. Welded the ball joint solid. Yeah, welded that solid so bit. I've welded the nut on that and end. And welded the nut on. Oh my goodness. Stop. And they just come off straight away then, did it? With a bit of Charlie. Bit of <laughs> when both inner track rods had been removed, it was time to start reassembling. First was the inner track rod boots, which weren't easy to get on. Oh, sitting in the rain, I was sitting in the puddle here. Can you uh, see where I am with it? And then I want to get... Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, so Gary at the moment is putting on the one of the boots <clears throat> and it doesn't have a lot of room. He's having problems with it. Mm, just a bit. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Take it right off. Really? <laughs> yeah, take it right it's off. all fun. Mm. If you put it on, put it on. Yeah. 
Put it on. No, it's off now. Yeah, it's off now. You, you want to put it on the top part first, no? I've tried that. Oh, right, okay. But what happens is you get it on and then you can't feel the bottom, so you can't feel if well, you're on or not. So yeah, I can't feel my bottom at the moment. <laughs> After removing the boots, Chaz dipped them in hot water to make them more flexible. Oh, what's that? Is that on? I think that's on. Oh, well done, mate. Yeah. On now. Well, well, so that was that was made easy by uh, heating this uh, boot up with uh, hot water and using a bit of lithium grease on the inside of that. Lying on the floor, you can't tell that I'm holding my head off the ground so that I can see what I'm doing. However, after a few minutes, my neck and shoulders start to really ache and came close to locking up. So Chaz kindly offered me a pillow. Do you want this under your neck, Chaz? Oh, that would be fantastic, mate. Lovely. Do you want to heat your blanket? <laughs> yeah, I've got a pillow, and now... <laughs> oh, you couldn't get my slippers from out inside the motorhome, could you? They're having a go because I've got a lovely pillow here. Yeah, so now it's just a matter of getting these cable ties on. We then Seven, fitted the track rod ends. Eight. Nine, ten, and the drive shafts. Only not the square. Yeah. Okay. Fitting the hubs is always a struggle. Down a bit, down a bit. Yeah, we always have this problem. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, anyway. what, the last against the spring is in you that, are, in that spring you there. Are, yeah. Oh, there you go. Unbelievable. The brakes were next. Was there any lock screws for these? That's it. That's it. Nothing wrong with that. That's it, that's it. She's perfect. Now, I, I didn't <coughs> record any of that, so you're gonna have to take one out and then redo it so I can film it. Yeah, right. Do you wanna f him or if you wanna <laughs> hold him? <laughs> yeah. You've got the other side. Do you wanna hold him or do you wanna hang <laughs> him? Right, that's it. We just got one nut left, other than this little wheel, that's it, one right? One nut this side, yeah, 500 meters. So this meters. side? Yeah. So it's that 500 meter, meter, new, 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 new meter, meter one, yeah. Newton that meter. one in the middle. <laughs> We are now putting the gearbox oil in. Um, let me just show you what we need to do. We need to remove all the pipe work from here. It goes to the air box. And uh, that, down there, that thing, just there, that is the uh, gearbox reversing light switch sender. And we've got to take that off to put the gearbox oil in. And it's a 22 mil ring spanner. So that's what we just removed. Now we're going to use a, an ingenious method and that is to pump it rather than pour it into like a, a funnel or something. We're going to pump it in. What was it you were using? It's just a, a pump thing I've got. It's just a pump thing he's got. Yeah, it's, not a, it's not quite going enough for it, but it does work. Yeah. It's just a pump, you'll see. So there's the pump. We've got the end of it going into where we're going to pour the oil. Uh, and this red pipe turns into the blue pipe. And you can see right at the back there, hopefully, it's going to, it's been squeezed into the gearbox. How many Point litres eight. are we putting in? 2.8. 2.8 litres. Right, it is quarter to five, and we are done. Uh, we're, we've lost the light, the sunset though, but we need to uh, go and uh, uh, give it a bit of a test drive, but the, the nuts on either end, the hub nuts, they need to be uh, torqued up again. Uh, and the tracking, of course, that also needs to be done, but we'll be doing that another time next week. So let's just uh, take it for a test drive, shall we? Yeah, okay, good. I'll let you do that. <laughs> I don't know what he means. <laughs> it is the following day and uh, it is still raining. I just wanted to give you an update on what occurred last night when we did our test drive because it was no good recording. It was just too dark. So 
everything went fine actually uh, we don't have any oil leaks from the gearbox the tracking of course that needs doing you can feel that in the steering one thing um i should point out is that on the way back in the dark got like 90 percent of the way home and the gear stick kept popping out of fifth After further investigation on the internet, we discovered that losing fifth gear is a common problem with Fiat Ducatos, Peugeot Boxers and Citroen Relays from 94 to 2002. The problem is that the fifth gear was an afterthought and has been added on later, which meant that the gear doesn't get enough oil during normal splashing of the gears. Since our gearbox has been leaking a small amount of oil, while we drove from Wales and back, uh, I think we simply starved it of oil and it eventually broke. Replacing fifth gear and its synchro is a simple fix. You won't have to take the gearbox out and uh, it can be achieved in about two or three hours. However, we're going to be getting someone to do it for us. And if they allow me to film the process, I will do so. Thanks for watching. Ta-ta.